Yo, welcome to the BTE Podcast. It's your boy, Snack. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Checkmate, man. Assalamu alaikum to all. Welcome back. Man, man. First, first ever page one of the book is in the books. Now, you see what I did there? The kind of little, uh, the kind of hair there. The double I'm trying to play on words. You feel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, for y'all that haven't checked it out, go ahead. Go to the YouTube Checkmate. Let them know. Let, let, let them know where to find the, the page one and everything else. Yeah, man. YouTube being the evolution. You know, we're we're small right now, so it won't pop up on the on the first thing you search up, but it'll it'll pop up if you go to filters and hit channel. We'll be the first thing that pops up. You feel me? You feel me? It, hey, hey, hey. Baby step, baby step. Well, they say you gotta crawl before you walk, walk man. before you run. Shit, you gotta be born before you can crawl, brother. Hey, hey, hey. I like that. One. I like that one, man. Man, bro, but let me tell you, man, I was pretty happy, though. I was happy. The support we got, we most definitely will be doing premieres. So if you want to listen to it live and on that time, you can most definitely do that. You can interact with other people that also listen to it live. And it'll be, it's more for like a interacting, or wow, interaction. Right. And just wanting to talk and hear it live. And I want to get your opinions firsthand. Right, if we say something you like, damn, that hit, and you can't remember it 10 minutes later, you uh, hit it up right there, and we'll see it. And we'll most definitely try our best to get in contact with you again. So, boom, going off of the interactions, man, this is off the cuff, no script because we don't script nothing, you know. So, uh, what, what you trying to do with the clubhouse? What day, man? <laughs> A day because this is gonna come out on Friday, so we gotta think about it. If this come out on Friday, we have the other one come out on Monday, and we want to do that. We can we can book up a week if we really want to just run the week up. We can do the we can do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for the fan. We can do Wednesday, Thursday. We can do Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday. We can do whatever for real. Yeah, I'm but, trying to build the community, man. So whatever helps us build this community that we we call in the evolution. Just let's get to it. I most definitely. I mean, if we're doing that, it ain't nothing for to take 20 minutes minimum out of our day each time. So we can right. we can take up the whole week. Monday, y'all can get paid. You know what I'm saying? Episode, how you want to say? We can call it paid, though. This is right. the story right here. So Monday, we got first paid. And Friday, we got the second paid. So Tuesday through Thursday, hit us up. You know, that's most definitely where y'all can send us ideas, different things that y'all want y'all voice and y'all opinions to be heard. Right. And we can speak about stuff maybe that won't make it too... You know what I'm saying? Our, our page, our public stuff, because of everything we have going on. So we can get your discussion, your conversation started within the clubhouse. Right. So let's do Tuesday through Thursday, 20 minutes. You know, that ain't nothing. You know, we got 24 hours a day. What's, 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 what's 20 Trying to sound retarded on hey. <laughs> Man, But today, 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 you know, crazy thing is, just got a call. And they asked, you know, what were we talking about today? And I, and I told them, I said, you know, we're talking about the mess of COVID. Right. Shitting with the ass, it's, it's a touchy subject. It's a you know, huh? but this is what this whole podcast is for is to push those boundaries and it's definitely and, and, and push that envelope and force you to get out your comfort zone and think. You know, it's, it's what we really see all what it seems to be. Is it real? Is it fake? Is it is it as bad as it seems? Man, it's a lot for us to get into a whole lot. I, I get man, look, I had some off the cuff. Off the muscle I wanted to get on, man. I feel about the COVID situation. Sir, go ahead, knock it out. COVID, whew, man. When, I, when we say the myth of COVID, and I speak for myself, the reason why I say it's a myth is because it's too many times I've really been involved in it. Now, when we say myth, it's like, oh, you saying it's not real? I most definitely believe that it's a it's a type of disease that we gave a name to, the same that we gave the flu. Uh, what was it back way back when uh, they had the, the swine flu? Nah, it was the um with the it was with the mosquitoes. It was um Ebola. Yeah, there we go. Like the Ebola, and man, I, I heard some. They they said they said uh, COVID was well, Ebola was supposed to be mm-hmm. crazy stuff. But I feel like we just gave a name to it, and now it's it's affecting more people and this and that. But the reason why I call it a myth is I've literally been boom first thing ever I was in Missouri. I had a man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my dude. I was sitting next to bro in a real small, you know, the little cafe, Starbucks yeah. type of table, circle, real close. I'm talking about no elbow room. We seven deep at this table. Imagine. 
seven people with food at the table. It's not, it does not work out. Right. So we, uh uh-uh, bumping shoulders and everything. We eating. Bro talking to us. He said, yeah, bro. I took a test today. Man, I'm cold. Right. Bro, bro, you got COVID. What? We, we brushed it off. Like, all right, bro, you know, for real. Boom. Not even two, three minutes after. Right. Get a call. It's from the doctor. He said, yo. He said, okay, how long? I got quarantine. So when the bro said that, we like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Mind you, mind you. Not before that call, bro. I'm dabbing, bro. Hugging, going, bro. Right. So we, we kicking it. <laughs> so he get the call. So he got COVID. Everybody at that table dispersed. You, you know, you know, Roach, when the lights come on, yeah, oh, definitely. Bro, we was gone. So bring that up, man, bro. Positive. Doctor called him, you know what I'm saying? You know the doctor, you know, he got he got a degree. He went to school for like 40, 15 years. Right. And got in debt by the hundred, two hundred K. Yeah. So he he gotta know what he's talking about. Right. Said bro positive. So what? I said, all right, that's tough. You feel me? So now I'm like, all right, cool. I, I gotta get tested. You feel me? Now at first I have to keep it a stack with you. I ain't feel no symptoms. Right. I'm like, bro, I feel good. I've been with bro. Cause I don't think he got it that day. He must have been having his symptoms probably like two, three days. I don't know the whole math behind it. Hopefully, right. you correct that part. Or how long do you have COVID? And then when does it show symptoms? And then all that. So I'm gonna say that he probably had COVID. So he was positive probably two days before that. So in these two days, I've been with bro every single day, dabbing up and all that. We play football together. So right. it's like to see that I get tested and everything, and then boom, we come back and they find me. Uh, on the camera, 4K. Mm. Yeah. They said contact tracing, on quarantine. So I hit them with that by test negative. Yeah. Am I good? No. It takes like five days to, to for anybody to show symptoms. Right. All right. You trying to lock me for five days? Cool. Get tested the first day, negative. Get tested the fifth day, negative. Right. Can I get up? No. Nah. It take it takes ten days for some people. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> ten days. Negative. <laughs> Can I get out? Now, you know, sometimes it's a late symptom, you know, on the last day that we just had a student. This is, and then mind you, this is with the nurse, you know what I'm saying? She probably went to school for about 10 years. Right. The, the 16 nah, at the doctor. Nah, she probably, good four, but two, two to four. Oh, wow. My I'm fault. Take that long, you know, like nurse <laughs> my fault, my fault. So the nurse, she said, nah, you know, we just had a student last time on the last day. He tested positive. Right. So she's like, nah, you got to stay, you got to stay in quarantine. So I was in quarantine two weeks, missed two games, and I took about four, yeah. four, five tests within those two weeks. All the negative. So now I'm looking at it like, what's happening? And then the dude that said he was positive, he ain't had no symptoms. Right. So they're like, uh, I think it's a false positive. So in my head, I'm starting to think now, why is there a such thing called a false positive? Because right. I, was, I was in statistics just this past semester, and they did like a whole little thing where our scientific it's not notation. It's like the scientific experiment we have is 0.05. So right. there's a five percent chance of that that the research is messed up. That's on the, but other than that, it's it's very accurate. Which is, we shall and we shall accept it right. to say that it's true. So I'm like, how many far positive do we have? So I'm really confused because he's not showing no symptoms. We not showing no symptoms. Right. And then you're trying to say that we're asymptomatic, and we bro we just show it. We just pass it. Right. But all the people I was around, all the people he was around, they didn't have it. So how many people are asymptomatic? Right. Like I'm trying to really understand that part now. Like, what's the rarity or commonality of being asymptomatic and not showing symptoms but having it still passing it on? Right. And then we're going back to the vaccinated, unvaccinated. You're telling me if I get vaccinated, it's like, ah, oh, man, you're, you build up a tolerance. It's hard for you to get it. And then you said, oh, it's not hard for you to get it. It's just lower the symptom when you do get it. So right. now you're not done. So I'm I'm really lost about that. And that's not even the first time. You feel me? That's, that was probably the second time I'd have probably been around somebody that had COVID. Oh, damn. They, they, they didn't see what I did. The quotation marks around they had right. COVID. Quote, unquote, had COVID. Yeah, you know. And it was, and it, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, bro, I don't get it. Like, I really don't, you know. So sometimes, you know, it was a joke for me. I was like, man, look, I'm just been cut different. Right. Even I've been blessed, so they can't, they can't mess with me. And it's just a lot of, a lot of questions I have. 
And I feel like that would make me a, a target or uh, be out of place because now I don't believe in a certain norm and normality right. of it. Man, not only that, when we're talking about what is the, <clears throat> what is the norm, I, I don't even believe all the way about all these deaths that's going on in COVID. Right. Because I've seen it before where it's like, if uh, if you die, say you got asthma, boom, you have an asthma attack. Hey, they'll book that and say, all right, man, you died because of COVID. COVID was in your system. We saw it. And we didn't, we, we, we had to get up out of it. Even though you had an asthma attack, COVID caused an asthma attack, you died. Right. So we're going to put that death on COVID. If you got respiratory issues at all, they're gonna just throw that jump. Yeah. You 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 died because of COVID. So the numbers is, is flawed to me. That us? I'm I'm reading the symptoms right now, and boom, this is every sickness ever. Feel me? It's the same symptoms: <laughs> fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle or body aches. I could have went to go hoop that day. You feel me? I got a cough, and my muscles hurt now. I, I think I got COVID that night. Come on, man. You got headache? And you get headache from me. Anything. Anything. You don't drink enough water. You got, oh, I got COVID, maybe. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, uh, lost the taste or smell. I, I don't know all the, the, the sick, but I know that's common to you get sick, you lose your, your smell. Yeah. Common cold, you, when you can't smell no more. But I guess it's COVID because I can't smell now. Yeah. Sore throat, calf strep throat. Now it's, okay, boom, mom, I got you. Oh, you might have COVID. Go in your room. Let me go get a test. Negative. You just wasted some money. I just wasted some hours in the room. Man, 25. They, they, they charging big time. Then they just... They booking it. <laughs> Last three are crazy. Congestion or runny nose. That is very common. Like a baby has that damn near every month. Uh, uh, nausea or vomiting. I, just hey. ate, I ate some bad food earlier. Now I'm throwing up. But I might have COVID. Mom, she going to tell me to go in the room. I got to sit in there. She going to get a test. It's negative again. Why am I? Gee, Last man. one. Diarrhea, my brother. Man. That is so common, bro. <laughs> you can just, you can be lactose. You feel me? Come on, gang. Somebody could have picked the Pepto Bismol in the thing in the joint. They could have picked the, I got, I got something to make you, make you diarrhea. If I put that in your drink, you're going to have diarrhea. So now, that's nutty. That's, ooh. All of these are common, common occurrences when you're sick. It's not just a COVID thing. So, so if you, if you looked up the flu, or if you looked up a cold, will they have the same symptoms? Let's, let's figure this out right now. Only got nothing but time. It's crazy, <laughs> but time. So it's, that's like some of the things I be trying to really say, you know, because I had um, one of the people I'm really close with within my family. He had COVID. You feel me? And I'm talking about we was close. So look, boom. I don't mean to cut you off, but it's, it's, it's basically the same thing. Pain areas in the muscles with a common cold. You have a cough. Got runny nose, congestion, loss of smell, uh, chills in your body, fatigue. Your body aches. It says it in, in another another way. Um, you have watery watery eyes. Congestion. Uh, 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 that's just, different. The water. Yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, uh, but the even, if you eyes. don't, but if you don't have it, now it's okay. He don't have watery eyes as a, as a symptom. So maybe it's COVID and not uh, just a common cold. Uh, uh, so uh, now we're finna take him to treat him <laughs> as he has COVID, but he's not. I just want to say another thing, gang. Like, them, them, if you took another test because you didn't have the water out, you thought you had COVID. Yeah, gang. Hope you know you you just spent over seventy five, eighty dollars on tests. Cause the test run you twenty five to twenty seven dollars. So it wouldn't be general. Let's say twenty five a pop. You just took three tests now. You out seventy five dollars in a week over over something that took you ten minutes. Cause they say it takes ten minutes to you know yeah. run the test. So in thirty minutes cost you seventy five dollars. Eh. Let us let us reiterate. When we're saying that the myth of COVID, we're not saying that COVID is fake. We're just saying that it's, it may be exaggerated. It yeah. May be, it may be a, a, a false narrative that's going around that maybe we should look into as people and, and come to our own conclusion instead of looking at what they give to the masses. Yeah, man. Because if you we go back to the last um, podcast and we were talking about the narrative that the media try to push. Right. And, and there's vivid proof like this is not this is not no conspiracy theory right. this is proof that the media pushes out what they want to push out and we see that there's a lot of um uh, we go back to the police bond you will be pushing out I, feel, I learned this in my also in my African American lit class right so we were talking about racism and all that obviously yep man said look boom boom we done got dang me uh but um he was like man the uh, Please kill all the black folks, man. It's just it's terrible. Right. 
Shawty, you know what I'm saying? Caucasian Shawty said, well, look, technically, you know, um, white people getting killed more by cops than black people. Right. But you wouldn't know that because. Why are you media. doing the voice? <laughs> 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 you get the voice. Hey. That's you crazy. Know, you know, because technically, yeah. right, the, the, the media pushes out that we kill you more, but I don't know why you said we, but, yeah. you know, kill you more. But really, we're getting killed more than you are. I mean, there's also a more a higher percentage, a higher population of white people. So, I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. But if you look at just strictly percentages, it's a different story. Because numbers will tell you one thing, but they don't tell you that there, there's there's probably three times as many white people as there is black. So, if, if there's not a if there's not a, a, a statistic percentage-wise that shows the same thing, there's three times more white people than black people getting killed, then it's not... What you what you think it is most definitely, or even if you talking about the percentage, why you gotta say like the reasoning behind it. Right. I mean, we're we're outraged because we're getting pulled over for being on the red light, and we got we just got killed. So right. You you told me go give you my license registration, and then you say you in your life so I was going for a gun. Right. You no, know it's you, crazy. I read the whole Sandra Bland thing, like the whole uh, uh, transcript. Yeah. Of the whole thing. Nutty. Did, did, did. He, he escalated, they escalated, it was two cops, like a woman and a man. But they escalated the situation way more than it needed to be. Mm. The cop told her to put out her cigarette in her car. And that's really what caused the whole the whole scene. Which is crazy, I'm in my car, I can smoke a cigarette in my car if I want to. You can't tell me what to and not to do in my my car, I pay for this. <laughs> so you're, now I'm, now I'm a dead woman because you told me to put out a cigarette in my car. Do you have no rights over my car? I mean, well, this is a topic for you, because they technically do have rights. Once you go and sign the uh, the title, you, you kind of lost your rights. But that's a, that's a topic for another day. Right, right. Uh, uh, homie said, homie said, the calorie read the fine print. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, magnifying glass, getting into the newspaper and all, and all the all the contracts and stuff. And, you know? Yeah, man. Right. Man, bro. So we got on that little rent, but most definitely, like I said, the numbers don't really tell everything. Right. right. And we talk about the death tolls, and like I said, they just throwing people out there. Man, I could have fell off a building, and they said cold, cold was in my system. I, right. I, I lost my equilibrium, fell off, and that's why I fell off the roof, and yeah. that's why I died. So now, crazy, you died because cold. Yeah. All right, all right, bro. I ain't got time for what you're talking about no right. more. Definitely. So I just let it rock out. So we really want to stress that point because. We know people are real technical or technical people. Yeah. What, what do you want to call them? Real technical people. That's it. Yeah. Techies. You feel me? <laughs> but referees. Yeah, bro. So then they'll be like, oh, well, you said myth. Yeah. And and this is not a myth. This is a real thing. Okay, cool. I mean, but, should we should we go into the definition of a myth? Because we, we can definitely read that. But you feel me? Y'all can do y'all's own research. I'm yeah. not here to spoon food or, or, or spoon feed people, but you know. It's it's even if you don't want to call it a myth, it's it's, it's false narratives and perceptions going around. So you can call it whatever you want. So we just we we both can agree that that COVID is is not as serious as they're making it. It's like a, a, a flu and a cold combined. Yeah, you, you catch both at the same time. That's COVID. Let me say, ah, dang, it's tough. You feel me? And people, I was just man, I, I was just talking about it, and I guess this is a whole another topic for a whole other thing but we speak about what you put into the world right comes to fruition so you can have a common code right but if you start saying i got covid or you start believing like i really got covid i got covid, I got COVID, I got COVID. you keep saying that I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop saying that because bro yeah. let me let me chill out let me, yeah, i'm good i'm good i'm good but um you keep saying that though it's gonna turn into that right and then you're gonna try to tell yourself i was reading a book and it said that elder crazy part two yeah man read reading is power it's very powerful but it was like, you know, if you say that and then now us as humans will rationalize and say, oh, I was right. right. I knew it. I knew it all along. When you could have most definitely had a common code, but, right. you, but you forced it into what it is. So that's my real my real take. Like I said, I'd have been my reasoning for believing and feeling the way I feel is the numbers. Right. It's, it's all falsified. The media is pushing out stuff that you want to be pushed out. It's most definitely about money. I mean, that's why in Texas we were shut down at first. Right. Was, when boys start losing bread, they say, ah, go yeah. ahead. It ain't that bad. It ain't they just wear a mask, you know, get back there, you'll be fine. And come back to come back to work. We need to get this money back, right? And again, I've been around people that have tested positive and I have not had it. Right. Like I'm talking about have not had it at all. No. Yeah, I kinda wanted to talk about talk about that too. 
there's men around, a lot of people in a, in a small living quarters, everybody using the same stuff, you feel me? And when you take the test, you wait for the results. So if you have COVID, you're still around those people. Every time people took, because at first I was reluctant to take a COVID test because I didn't want them to do it. But yeah. once we started being able to swab ourselves, it was, okay, I'm cool with doing that because they were sticking it, yeah. touching your brain and shit. Ah. It's not, I'm cool, I don't, <laughs> yeah. no sir, but... Yeah. But yeah, it was people. We're taking the COVID test in the small. It's it's eighty people in the small living quarters. We're not super small, but it's a size of a house. Eighty people in the house. Boom. And we take the test. Three days pass. Two, three people have COVID, but we've been around them this whole time, you know. So it's why is there not more people popping up with this quote unquote COVID, COVID disease or whatever you want to call it? And so it's. I got to the point where I was like, okay, boom. If I'm sleeping right next to this guy, yeah. we're sharing the exact same air. Mm. You have COVID for a week and I'm still next to you and I don't catch it. It's not what it is. It can't be what it's seems. Wait, wait, wait. You're asymptomatic. Remember that. Remember that. But you still you still caught it even if you're asymptomatic or symptomatic because technically it's in your system. Ah, so if it don't ah. pop up, you feel me? It's no... It, 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 I, I guess I'm asymptomatic because it didn't pop up at all. I did I test negative. Uh, uh, you know, so it's you. You you the lucky kid. Lucky kid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I've, heard, I've heard it all before. You feel me? <laughs> you, you sneezed it out. Yeah, you, feel me? you, you, you probably pissed some... it out. Yeah, Come on, man. Gang. You know, it left your system. You know, you got a strong immune system. You're young. Yeah, let's throw that out there. With being around all those people, you know, some people take shots. You get to see the 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 the, the reaction to the shots. How 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 they move forward. And I mean, obviously, there's no. It doesn't affect your character after you take the shots, but you can you can see the the, the kind of difference that it, it does to your body. Yeah. Like when I, I so you see people from 20 all the way to 50, 60 take the shots, the 20 year olds can't get out of bed for two, three days because their body's tripping. You feel me? They look like adult fiends trying to trying to recover. You feel me? Like real talk. Bro was sweating, he can't sleep with the cover, his body hanging off the bed, just Nigga, you look like a zombie. It's, it's all type of crazy <laughs> stuff. But the older people, boom, they 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 they, they uh, take the shot. Next day, they're fine. Walking around, boom, boom. I'm reluctant. I'm like, bro, I don't want to be around, dude. For me, I got the mask on. For me, don't touch me. Don't touch nothing. Because like you just took the shot. So tell me, is is the is the COVID not in your system now, or is it? it I, I believe for you to have any vaccine, you have to get hit with a small dose of the. Good thing that you very because I, I was I was asking it just to you know, but so if it's in the system. He, I guess they're quote unquote asymptomatic, right? Because you don't have a reaction to the shot. But the, I don't. However, the, the scientists, I'm gonna let them do their job. Yeah, you feel me? The, I'm one, not, the one that got in debt, 200k. Yeah, the one, yeah. The you got, feel me? I'm, 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 uh, I'm, uh, science, science, uh, what is it called? Science. Whatever. But anyways, <laughs> but I was just gonna have a whole little. Could even help you on that. Yeah. One, uh, I don't understand how. Cause I didn't know there's only one old person I saw that had a reaction to the COVID shot, and that was because he kept saying that that uh, he didn't believe in it. Right? Yeah. In his mind, it was it was a disease way before he even thought about getting the shot. But then he he okay, well maybe I should get the shot. So in his mind, he's still doubting it. You feel me? He feels a certain way. So obviously, you're gonna psych yourself out and make your body react how you want it to react. But everybody else from like 30 plus had no reaction to COVID, the COVID shot. So to me, it's like maybe there's something in the generation before us that was that was quote unquote COVID that's that they had or that they went through that they caught or whatever, and now it's coming around to us, and they're trying to make it something that it's not because we we caught all the flus and colds and, and and got all the flu shots and all that stuff and people died from that too, but it wasn't well not to my knowledge it wasn't as big as the COVID situation. I think it's because like we talked about earlier, like you said earlier, about the whole mind thing. Your mind kind of plays tricks on you. I mean, yeah. So if I'm around a lot of people, nobody has COVID, but I'm like, I'm around so many people, somebody gotta have it. Tomorrow now I'm coughing and, and generating this, this this sickness that's really not there. It's just, it's just my mind is, 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 is playing games on me because yeah. I'm playing games on my mind. Most definitely. I mean, there, there was an actual thing. I, I want to say this was based off a true story, so don't quote me on that. It was most definitely it was a movie. Right. But it showed how powerful the mind was. Long story short, in the movie, this dude, he was paralyzed. He yeah. was, quote unquote, he was paralyzed. He, he couldn't walk, none of that stuff. Right? Cool. 
we went to the doctors, you know what I'm saying, the one in 16 years, that, right. all that. They showed them x ray, this is how your body looks, this is, this is from your spine, this is why you can't walk, we'll, we'll you never walk again. Right. All right. In the movie, though, uh, it was all, all those people were fake. The doctor was fake, the, the x rays was fake. How he found out, I think, like, I want to say he fell one time. Yeah. And then he actually, um, he actually started to move his leg. Right. So the stuff they, the IV they gave him was to actually paralyze him, like right. himself. But at the same time, once he, uh, but he believed it. So he starts to really, really believe that he couldn't move. Right. And then one day, you know, like I say, he fell. And then I, I guess body reaction, he, boom, leg twist. He said, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So then, that when he started being able to move, he's like, yo, he thought something crazy. Right. Then he started to look around the house because he was there by himself. So he started looking around the house. He saw everything was fake. The, the messages from his girl, all that. Right. And then at the end of the movie, they was like, yeah, we, we lied to you. Never would. You never would hurt. It was all in your mind. Right. That there showed alone how powerful your mind is. That you can force your body and you can believe something and your body will say yeah bro, probably so right probably so that's probably true so that's why i'd have had the common code or attempt to i never i, I attempt to have a common code right and i told myself i'm not getting sick right I said, bro i'm not gonna get sick right here what are you doing i said bro come on we're gonna be good go to sleep wake up be perfectly fine what happened went to sleep woke up perfectly fine right. i appreciate you buddy i'm glad we had an agreement let's go back out here let's get this money right so your mind is so powerful, and that's something that this podcast is really getting on to. It's really showing you that powerfulness inside your mind that you can believe what you want and you can make things happen. Right. Most definitely. So that's my whole take. I it's it's so it's difficult for me to believe that this is such a big deal. Right. When I've been around X Y Z people, and I ain't never had. It. It was, and it wasn't like I was just around you, like we just sitting across the table or another side. No, I'm dabbing you up. Right. We're sweating together. No interaction. Like, come on, yeah. man. And we sitting here doing that, and I don't have it. You know, it's crazy. Remember how when COVID first started, everybody was following the little six feet apart, and even in the stores. Yeah. Every time you go to a store, you feel me? You waiting. Like when I was in Washington, they had the uh, they had the dots outside Walmart where yeah. everybody was real life. One person come out the store. I'm like, man, this is crazy. But it's and now we're starting to fade away because I think people are starting to realize, but it's still that doubt in their mind. Like, what if it is what what they're trying to make it seem? Yeah. And also, what's the what's the agenda behind behind COVID? Because it has to be something. It, they're, they're not just spreading the information just to spread the information. It has to be some hidden agenda that's behind it. Man, when you ask that, the first thought that comes to my mind. Wow, the first thought that comes to my mind is money. Right. That's the first thing. Because I strongly believe there's a cure for cancer. Right. There ain't no Not way. Not proved that. Come on, bro. I, there's no way you're telling me, bro, you, we didn't pay billions of dollars into this research. Right. We done got the top, top scientists on this. Right. And you ain't find no cure for it? You know how I look at it, man. You have a vaccine for a, a, a COVID that right. just came out a year and a half, two years ago. Between, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna say let's but. put it let's put it this way if everything in the world is what it seems right if you can put robots on the moon why can't you cure a, a, a internal disease you're making something go external but you can't cure something internal it don't make it don't make sense but it's it's, it's all cool you know I mean, if that's what y'all want to believe like i'm not i'm not here to force no beliefs on anybody. Yeah, it's strictly <laughs> how we talk, how we communicate, what we believe. It's yeah, it's, if you if you feel like you know you have questions about it, hey, then ask the questions. I you know what quote you said last podcast that I really like. You're not me, I'm not you. They're not. What you say? I'm. Wait. I'm. They. You know what I'm I, 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 I wrote it. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. I had that quote. I had that quote. Hold up. Oh, they're not us, and we're not them. There we yeah. go. Uh, I'm not you. You're not me. They're, they're not us, us. We're not them. them. Boom. I, I like that. That applies to anything and everything in life. Yeah. Big. Oh, that's right. I knew I was doing something correctly. It was another one that we had a long, long time ago. Hey, man, what's, what song What song is, is hitting to you different right now, brother? Man, the song? Let me, let me get to it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, if I act as anyone else but myself, I'm doing myself a disservice. Take that. 
as y'all please. If y'all act like anybody else but y'all self, y'all doing yourself a disservice. Yeah, do your own research and anything in life before you come to a conclusion that somebody tells you. Yeah, we not. Uh, it wasn't like me and him just sat here. Well, no. I, when I came to him, I said, this is my thoughts. He said, these are my thoughts. Right. Ironically, you know. You seem to align. It, 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 so. so, that's it. Song, though, if I'm being for real, if I'm being real, one of the songs that hit me was Poison by Rod Way. Man, it, most of y'all should know it. I mean, I ain't gonna say should. That's right. kind of wrong. But, but a lot of y'all could possibly know it. If not, um, what do you say? Uh, we get copyrighted for if I, if I quote lyrics. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah. What well, he said, he said, uh, learn, uh, learn to love my, that, that, yeah, that whole part. He said he learned to love himself. He'd been alone every weekend. Right. He's like, they say he's out of breath because he's been running some demons. You left, I needed help. You was the one that I believed in. People change like the season. I'm asking, what's the reason? That right there, that whole thing right there hit me because it was a point in my life when I was by myself. You know, like, or I, mentally I was. Like, I was around people, but right. mentally I was always by myself. I didn't think anybody understood me. None of that. Um, they say he's out of breath and he's been running from demons. Right. Man, bro. <laughs> When I tell I've been I've been doing races in my head just trying to just trying to get away. Woke up swinging, right. thinking I, I was fighting, you know, really fighting something. I actually I say that to be truthful. Uh, with my when I told you about my the person in my family that had COVID, right? I was literally in the I was sleeping, and I could vividly see myself fighting the variant, right? Like I could see myself really fighting that sickness, like we we in the map. I leave crazy. Yeah, uh, uh. Yeah. Like I'm really fighting this man, and I won. Right. So then I, I won. I woke up. I said, "Man!" But I could like my body felt that though. Like I, I most definitely felt like I was in a battle because right. I was. I was, you know, like the mentality of it and me physically seeing it. I mean, I, you can have an active imagination or whatever, but that's what I'm telling you. What I saw, like I literally saw myself in the ring right. fighting this, fighting this variant. I ended up, got hit, woke up, felt the bruises, felt the scars, like everything. Yeah. I was good. I said, oh, we, we good here. Woke up that next morning. I said, yeah, we back. But yeah, poison, man. Uh, what, what, what fire stopped that? Running from demons? Yeah, man, I felt that. People change like the season. I'm asking, what's the reason? I always ask myself, you know, and I ask a lot. I'm like, you know, why do some people leave? Right. You know, I understand some people do. They season the people they hear for. They serve their purpose, they leave and everything. But as you know, with that one situation up in Missouri, well, well, person, I was asking myself, man, why, why, why they leave? Right. Like we had some good going on, and and you done up them, you done up them left. I was like, man, that's that's tough. You feel me? And that messed me up. I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, that is something wrong with not. But I understood that, man. People leave. It's it's out of season. Though some people have betrayed you. Right. And they don't know if you know yet, so they gotta leave because they say I, I can't, they can't live with they self. Because behind closed doors, what we always say, I know what I did, you know what you did. Right. There's nothing else. I'm a man. I don't have to explain myself to nobody. And I live by that. If I feel like it, I'm not gonna say y'all should live by that, but as as a man and as an adult, you know, woman, man, whatever, you don't have to explain yourself to nobody. Nobody deserves an explanation. Right. If you do what you do and you know why you did it, do it. Keep it pushing. If somebody don't understand, they don't understand it. Yeah. As long as you understand why you did it. Because if you don't understand it, now you have an issue with yourself. There's no more about that. So, that's the song, though. Boys and Rod Wave. Uh, if, if Rod Wave do listen to this somehow, some way, yeah, go ahead, gang. Just go ahead and send me that. <laughs> send me that, bro. Just shout out your whole song. Yeah, yeah. You probably got a thousand more streams because of me. Like, yeah, go ahead. Send that my way, and we'll, we'll be cool. And we'll call it even. Definitely. What about you? What's, what's the song? I mean, everybody that knows me know I'm a big advocate of uh, Nip Plus One, man. That was, my, <laughs> that was my guy before and after he, he, he passed. Uh, but right now, it's, it's status symbol. Mm. I love that song, man. It's because, because I mean, a lot of his music I can resonate to because we went through the, some of the same motions growing up. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a couple, couple, couple bars in the song. I don't want to play it because that's the only way I'll be able to see the lyrics. Apple music is if I if I play it again, try to pause it real quick. So, uh, I'll just play a little snippet for me. Hopefully, it don't get copyrighted. Yeah, they're gonna they gonna hit that. They, they said they said two men trying to trying to do something better. Yeah, you what know. they do wrong? Copyright. Oh, play <laughs> play the music. It's cool though. It's, it's all good. I'm not tripping. Uh, 
Let me see. What else about COVID that we haven't talked about? Man, COVID's so new. It's like it's not too much. It's new, but it's old. It feel like we've been going through this motion with the COVID thing for a minute. Ah, uh, like I said, I think it's been two years. What is it? Twenty? Nah, it's been like twenty. What happened? What happened? Twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen? It was like middle of twenty eighteen. I would say. Is well, they say COVID's been around for a minute, like way before we we knew about it. But when it hit us, I think it was like the middle of twenty eighteen. I'm looking it up now. Uh, Right. Towards the end of 2018. Uh, they said December 12th, 2019. That's false. China began to experience shortness of breath and fever. Is that not a code? They had codes out there in China. Is that something new in China? Codes? Uh, a cluster of patients in Wuhan, Hubei. Uh, it could not be December 20th. Providence. China began to experience shortness of breath and fever. That's a code. I know I just disrespect the mess out of that place because I know I didn't say that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies because, man, I know I didn't pronounce that right. But, yeah, they said December 12th. Dang, that was three days before my birthday. You know? Maybe, maybe that's why I haven't, you know, I haven't got it. You know, it was near me. It was... Hey, for everybody that's listening to this, man, in the comments, I want to know, have y'all took the shot? And, and if y'all haven't, or if y'all have, what what did it feel like afterwards? And if y'all haven't, do y'all plan on taking the shots? Yeah, and you know, if y'all if y'all want to give a little description on, on, on your standby, your reasoning, most definitely is warranted. You know, we we appreciate it. It's a it's an open space, right? You know, I can't I can't promise you nothing. I can't promise another man. I say you comment something, they come at you sideways. You got to right. have that however you feel see fit. But with us and the way we want it, we want it to be real, just open and a safe space for you to speak yeah. your mind. Also, I want to know when y'all are out every day. Just living life. Do y'all think about COVID? Is it something that you fear? Is it something that you just look past? You feel me? Because for me, sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to wear a mask. Sometimes like I don't need to wear a mask because I know that Allah protects all that 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 belief and all that wants to believe. Yeah. So I believe that that if I wear the mask or if I don't wear the mask, I can still catch it or not catch it depending on what what Allah <laughs> wants wants me to go through. Man, whatever He written already, it's already in there. So I. I can answer that myself. I mean, yeah. I, I don't really wear a mask. Like, honestly, I don't. When I'm in school, I don't. When I go out here, I don't. Most definitely to give um, my sisters or somebody else working on with right. peace of mind, I'll most definitely put it on. It's not, it's not nothing. Like, I'm about to go ahead and make a whole fit about it. Right. You want to put on the mask? Cool. I'll put on the mask. Somebody say, you want to put on the mask? Cool. You know, that's the, if that's your store rule, I'm going to respect it. You know? Even whoever, however I feel, I'm not about to make a scene about it. But look, the thing is, they can't they can't force you to put on it. It says, it says, it says, uh, on the thing, it says something, but not required. Uh, uh, I know you're saying. Uh, recommended, but not rec- required. There you go. Recommended, but not required. They can't force you to wear a mask, but they can, you feel me, give you a suggestion. And hope you, and yeah. hope you'll do it. Uh, or, they, or they have it now out in Texas. I mean, you've seen around, if you're fully vaccinated, you can. You don't have to wear a mask. Right. But they're not calling you, so. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for for, for the fake the fake uh, vaccination cards to, to to really start floating around heavy. Hey, what Pippin makes? Hey, y'all scammers out there? Yeah, there's like some money, man. <laughs> some big hey, money, big bread. Hey. We're not we're the, by not by, by no <laughs> means are we promoting this. I'm just saying that you the way that the world works, we both know that it's gonna happen sooner or later. Yeah. So so I mean, you seen boy hit the PPP? Yeah. I just, what, what, Crazy. What, what man dirt say? I know a million people, some millionaires off PPP. Yeah. Man. I ain't gonna say I know a million people, but I, I, I know a good amount of people that yeah. bought, bought some new car. Selling their soul for, for, for some social security numbers, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. They said, yeah, bro, you know, you, oh, I need your social security number, gang. You, you're gonna be rich. Yeah. I need 10,000. How much you, how much you making now? That's my, yeah. whatever money you're giving me, you got, you're That's making chump it. Yeah, you're big. I need to know what you're making. What is, what's your take here? Right. You're giving me twenty thousand and too willingly. Yeah. yeah. You trying to make me shut up real quick? Now, no, no question. question. You probably making about three, four. Yeah. Cool little, cool little chance. Yeah. But uh, if you ain't got nothing, gang, I most definitely don't have anything else about this COVID stuff. I don't spoke my mind, spoke my piece. However, y'all feel. Like I said, hit us in the comment section. DM us. Shameless plugs again. The Twitter. This uh, IG. 
man, let me tell y'all this. Clubhouse man. and TikTok, man. man. Two, man, listen, 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 gang, listen. We here, we here. Listen, I know, like normally people don't talk about it, but we're raw and uncut, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes you may oversaturate the market and, and things that you don't need to over oversaturate, man. So we're not going, going, going go crazy with every social media platform because I feel like we need to master what we're what we're on first before we can expand. It's learning, man. You you hit that on the key. I mean, you you start off with some. You know, we had our ideas. I mean, most definitely we open about it. We had ideas about where we want to go and right. everywhere. But you know, like you just said, oversaturated and just expanding yourself and trying to do so much and then just coming back and saying, all right, cool. What what, what can we do? Right. You know, main things. Stick to it. Master this until we go on something else. The IG again, if y'all ain't know again, it's in the bio. Hopefully, y'all clicked it. We made it simple, you know. So uh, I ain't gonna get, I ain't take no credit. My man, made it simple. It's all good. It's all good. You feel me? He done made that simple. The IG is BTE underscore movement. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all can spell. I, I hope y'all can. Same with TikTok. BTE underscore movement. If you don't know how to spell movement, I'm gonna spell it for you. M O V E M E N T. Movement. If if you can't, if you couldn't spell it, now you can. Listen to it about three, four times. You'll understand it. I hope it. I hope it. Again, Twitter, BTE movement, just no underscore game. We try to make it real simple. They somebody, somebody up messed us all on the who BTE movement is on IG. Right. Yeah, you know, if they ain't got the underscore, they fake. I'm just throwing it. Throw and it last but not least, the Clubhouse group, man. All you gotta do is search up being the evolution or or BTE movement. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's being the evolution though. I would do it. Well, Clubhouse make, makes sense if you say BTE, but they but they just no, nah, they they're not that the algorithm not that. You know, up to date. I mean, they'll find us, but the, the club, the club in the group for it is, is being the evolution on Clubhouse. Nah. For sure, you'll see the logo. You feel me? Hey, hey, hey. It's, it's, We're still under construction, though, man. Deeper meaning, though. It's, it's no, everything that we do is always a deeper meaning behind yeah, sure. it. Sure. You know, make sure y'all move. Every move y'all make, that's one thing. Else. Every move you make, make sure it's calculated. Make sure you understand the next step. Make sure you're not acting out strictly out of emotion. Make sure it makes sense to you. And, yeah, that's it, gang. I ain't got nothing else. COVID, y'all believe what y'all want to believe. This is our take on it. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta agree with us. You can disagree. You can take some of the stuff. You can leave some of the stuff. Man, however you see fit. But we gonna get this stuff going. Yes, it sir. was your boy, though. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. It was your boy. Snap. Yes, sir. Checkmate. Checking out. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all. Oh, yeah. Learning to love myself. I've been alone every weekend. Yeah. This thing is out of breath because he's been running from demons. Yeah. You and I Visualize the hella cheese, you can smell a weed. Niggas doubt pessimism ain't affecting me. Fuel to the fire, take it higher than they ever said.